All right. Twelfth drop. Kozakata Yuri. Find Kurosawa Hisoka. Rescued by Mew, Yuri tr decides to continue chasing after Hisoka. Across the mists of the Lake of the Departed stands a massive Tori gate leading to the shrine on the water. I think was it uh, Hiroshima has the most famous Tori gates, of course. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of items to make this work. I think, at least the way that I'm, I've been going with this. Um, definitely, I think that like. We do get a decent number of Type 14 film uh, in over the course of this level, but yeah, Dandy, have you pl played through like all the games on like hard and stuff like that? Like, uh, I assume like New Game Plus if you're a big fan, but like I'm not a very big hard uh, hard mode like guy. But there's no New Game Plus really for this game, so I wanted to do something rather than just like a fresh playthrough only. Um, we're gonna go with this. But yeah, super appreciate everybody, everybody tuning in. Cause like once again, like there's a lot of people who have watched my streams for like strategy games, but not nearly as much for the horror stuff. Even though that's why I started streaming was Fatal Frame two and three on this channel. Start episode. Fourth drop to the other side. Kozakata Yuri. This is definitely also one of the more marathony runs. Yuri wonders what she saw at the Lake of the Departed, Hisoka's shadow vanishing into a thick veil of mist. She recalls the tall Tori gate rising from the water marking the entrance to the shrine in the water. Could Hisoka be in that shrine? Yuri knows that she must find a way across. She goes to investigate the shrine of the ephemeral. You should def try the first three games, especially the first one. Five is good all, but just not like the other four. We're getting a remake of the four next year, in case you haven't heard. No, 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 yeah, I, um, and I, I, like, for everybody else in the chat, like, if you haven't played the first two games, I recommend them because I I have played one, two, and three so far, um, and I I had streamed part of Fatal Frame two and uh, all of Fatal Frame three actually like those were what I started streaming when I started streaming again, and yeah we're getting no the remake of four is in March like that's right around the corner so I went through all the those games and. Uh, and I'm getting ready for four here. Like that's going to be a game that uh, diving right into. Also, I just yeah, I remember yeah, this level this level is long. Yeah, also kind of a creepy male gaze thing going on with this game. But you know, it's it's a. Uh... Is what it is. Yeah, Fatal Frame. Two was, I think the. Sucks it wasn't around when you streamed the first three. Yeah, yeah, I really wish I had VODs of that, but I wasn't, like, doing YouTube of it at, at the time. Like, I, I got through um, the end of Fatal Frame 2, and um, I did all the Fatal Frame 3, and yeah, unfortunately, like, you're never going to get this first playthrough stuff back, but I want to play through them with, uh, watch who's it, New Game Plus at some point, so... And I never, I never streamed one at all, so that'll be a thing. Also, that I love the controls of the first three games compared to this one. Like the, like the, the tank controls and stuff in this one are a little like, eh. hey, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate the follow so much. Um, I'll be honest, I cannot read your name because it is in Hangul, but um, I'll have to. But uh, you know, but thank you so much. Appreciate that. Actually, you know what? We can. I don't know. But anyway, like thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Um, and super love for everybody from from Korea, of course. Uh, Pit Lord, who hangs out in the chat a lot. He's from. South Korea, and then because I love strategy games, there's a lot of people from from Korea who have like have like watched the stream. So that's super awesome. Like I love, I lo like I love all the East Asian countries and everything. I used to live in Japan for three years, and I never got to go to Korea, but that's super awesome. And thank you so much. We're actually at 50 followers. That's amazing. Shrine, and that yeah, I did not even think that was gonna happen tonight, but fucking awesome, dude. Cool. But back into the. Back into the game. 
for a bit. An old, but of course we can talk about the game's Japanese culture, Korean culture, any kind of culture really. An old text about shrine on the water that was left on a bookshelf. Oral tradition tells us of the shrine on the water. It is said that to be the source of life and home to the sun god. People summoned by the cry of the mountain are said to pass through the shrine on their way to the gods. Hey, hey, Era or, or uh, I love your content, knowledge, and expertise of the franchise. Mad respect, I am South Korean, but has now moved to the United Kingdom. Excellent, glad to hear that. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, everything there is to know about this game or this, this franchise, but I do know, like, like I, I am a big fan of Japanese horror movies and, and Asian horror movies in general. So, like, that kind of colors my understanding of the game. Plus, I've watched so many lore videos on this series, played through the games 1, 2, and 3, and I'm planning on streaming, like, 4 when it comes out. So, thank you so much. Like, it's funny, this, this channel is mostly strategy games and then horror. This is rubbish compared to Thursday. Absolutely. I mean, I still... This got me into the game. It's, it's like, was accessible, but... I definitely need to go back and play the first three and then four when it comes out for sure. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the, the chat and everybody. Like it's been a, uh, a long fun evening of Fatal Frame and I'm like a big scaredy cat too, but you know, it's, it's super cool trying to, you know, people ha get to see me suffer play through a, like a scary game, but, um, get to share a love of the, of the, culture and everything too there are claims of people offering up their thoughts and their souls to release them from their suffering the shrine appears in several folk tales but unfortunately no trace of the building itself has ever been found the question is where is this shrine located could it lie on top of a literal body of water as the name suggests the lake of the departed on the summit is always covered in mist the silhouette of a tori gate can be seen where the sun sets tori gates of course are usually near shrines and temples and such in japan if that is the shrine in the water, it is likely that only certain individuals, those granted special permission, were allowed to approach it via boat. I also think that it's kind of like a, kind of almost a trope of Japanese folklore to have like a, a, a important lake on top of a mountain. I'm not much into strategy games myself, but the one game I've played for years on end is Knights, Heroes of Might and Magic. Uh, yeah, actually, I used to play lots of Heroes of Might and Magic 2 and 3 as a kid, and, uh, I kind of want to get into Heroes of Mighty Magic 3 again at some point, like, but I played a bunch of that. And then Songs of Conquest was a game that came out recently that's kind of like trying to carry on the gameplay of that. Yeah, yeah, 3 is definitely one. Like, I have, like, I like 2 quite a bit because, like, that's the one, my first one, but 3 plays the best, I think. And that new game, Songs of Conquest, looks cool as well. Hisoka's Journal 4. A notebook that has fallen next to the bed. Is this Hisoka's Journal? Everyone has secrets, secrets they never tell anyone, secrets that cannot be shared. When people go missing, they take those secrets with them. Maybe it's the weight of those secrets that drives them to disappear. They must want to escape the heavy burden. Someday, Yuri may learn of my secrets, my scars, but then we may finally be able to open up to each other. Maybe I'll be able to face this head-on and make a fresh start. Oops, forgot your Tenji emote here. Thank you for the Tenji, Tenji emote. And speaking of which, uh, we will be able to get emotes for the channel too. Uh, now that we've hit, forgive me, dang, we'll be able to have our own channel emotes and uh, and Discord emotes and stuff soon as well. Anything in here? Also, these fucking like uh, like drawer opening animations and door like you know, the first three games you just like grab the item and so on and so forth. I think. I think 2 is definitely the easiest one to get into of the old games, and uh, I still like the, like 3 and 1 are, are more challenging. Can you get a link to your Discord channel? Um, yeah, I can post a link, but it's also in the actual channel. Um, it's also in the, uh, yeah, the dis. sorry, I don't have any <laughs> commands set up yet. I can post that link, but it is also in the about, like down below in the about section. I can post it though. Yeah, there's that, and then there's, um, watch it, who's it? There's the copy link. 
YouTube as well. Yeah, so we got YouTube and Discord, of course. The YouTube's kind of a little barren at the moment, but we'll get there. Much appreciated, Ara. Our, our, uh... Alright, let's see. Yeah, me and my wife have always been amazingly into, uh, to, like, different horror. Wait, we came from this room, never mind. We've been into horror and like, but I've never really been able to do the um, the horror games that much because I don't have a big scary cat. Like Resident Evil, I haven't beaten that. Um, but yeah, just like the the cultural stuff has gotten me through these games. There's also so much stuff I missed like in these extra rooms. I think Fatal Frame 3 had like a much better um, like a. Uh, use in here like I think the three had like the house was a little better than, than this place the uh, antique shop all right gotta love the uh, the creepy nighttime store here of course but yeah this the other thing too is that like this kind of carries over from like Fatal Frame 3 with your house like that you had that game but in Fatal Frame 3 whoa something's around is it there oh fuck I missed it damn it was up and behind me but like you you went in and out of the dreams so often in that game that you could consistently have it disciples is fun too liberation can't hold the a, a title to count to the earlier titles but is overall a good game gotcha i have i have not i'm not i know the name i don't know much more about that series but i have um played like a, a, a bunch of different strategy games uh not too many horror games but those are two of the genres that i like to hang out on stream so far but yeah I play a, little ball, a bunch of stuff in MMOs fighting games all kinds of stuff it just turn-based gotcha yeah 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 turn-based strategy I haven't played as many turn-based well yeah and I guess total war sort of counts of course there is your name is Animal Crossing Dan and uh, Animal Crossing should I stay or should I go but the uh what was it my wife is way better at Animal Crossing than I am and Mario I guess like a Mario she's good at that all right All right. Also, like, I felt like I could, I had way more good stopping points in the previous games. Like, I could way more easily just, oh, hi, hey, buddy, what's up? Can't we all be friends? That's, like, let's be cool. We can talk about this, can't we? Come on. Yeah, I, I hate these guys because they're, like... Fuck, they're out of range. Although, speaking of range, do I have any upgrades I can do with Yudi? No, not quite. Is this fan service outfit because who the fuck hikes up a haunted mountain wearing a skimpy school? I know, you know, that's true. Although, I don't know. When I was in uh, Japan, it felt like uh, the girl power people used to go, to, like, the things they wore were kind of surprising. Even that in that weather, but um, but yeah, for sure. This is, I believe, the outfit I got from like beating, getting all the endings, and I'm like, uh, using this since beating like those. I had to play the last level four fucking times to unlock like a lot of the unlocks. Yeah, there's definitely like a creepy male gaze aspect to this game compared to the 
prior games. Yeah, yeah, the, they definitely sexualize the uh, characters in the remake a lot more for Chu as well. Oh, hi! Whoop! Just try to stab me with a, uh, fucking... What do you call it? Fire there. Yeah, I... Like, it's funny because there's, like, some people that are like, Oh my god, the remake is the best thing since Slice Red, but then there's... Like, it did not look very cool to me from what I saw, and no, do not resurrect. No, 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 no. Please don't resurrect. I think he got up. Damn it. I think we need to get better film for this. But yeah, there's been a, also a lot of people that really just hate the remake end. Are you back? Oh, thank god. I fucking hate these guys. I mean, I don't remember them doing that so much in the, uh... In my first playthrough. Yeah, there's definitely a ton of, like, stupid fan service... Um costumes in this game. Like, this is the, uh, the furthest I go. Um, but there's a lot worse ones, too. Would have been way creepier these priests pre appeared as decapitated ghosts because, if I recall correctly, they were decap de decapitated by the villain of the game. Yeah, I could... I forget, like, what he did to the priests, but there was, earlier in the stream, like, a whole area that I had missed out on my first playthrough. Like, where the priests hung out. That was kind of cool. There's a boat here. Jesus. This level is one of the longer ones, for sure. So instead of playing, like, OCD and, uh... and getting every little thing, we may try to hurry through it a bit, because this took me an hour on normal mode my first time. And I'm fully expecting this to be... take forever this time. Luckily, we're not playing as Ben, though. Because, like, I found... K and 3 to be, um, K, hey, watching, let's play, let's play, hey, thanks, appreciate that, like, honestly, I'm a pretty new, new streamer in general, and especially, like, I think the quality comes up over time, like, the first few streams were kind of like, eh, now we're getting there, though, like, way more confident with the, the game since then. There's like one tiny 30 second clip of me playing Fatal Frame 3 somewhere on the channel, and that's the only bit of 3 we have. Oh, hi! We're back! Hello? Okay. Oh, oh shit! Are you getting through this game week by week? Um, yeah, mostly. So basically, sometimes I play this, like a, like a chapter or two. Oh fuck. Um, after I finish up like an older game that I'm playing, like one of the older games. Oh, and then, um, and then, like, Saturdays lately I've been playing this game, uh, like, more just to focus on this game. Uh, yeah, like, I, uh, play, like, a lot of strategy games, so, like, tomorrow I'm playing Crusader Kings 3, where, basically, people, there's a lot of children you get in that game, and people who show up, and, and like, Say, give me a name idea, I'm gonna name the kids after them. Come on. Oh, damn you. Hi. Oh boy. Buddy. Alright, please be cool. Be cool, dude. Be cool. Hi. Come on. Be cool, bro. Bro? Dude? He's still coming back. I hate the yeah. I don't. I do not remember these guys having this kind of thing happening in um. Like I don't remember having to to kill two of them at a time on normal mode. Maybe that's like a new thing. But it feels like these little orbs they shoot out are what re revol ow revives the other guy.
Come on. Oh, I missed, didn't I? No, no, no. Uh, well, I'm going to be getting this through this game week by week if I can kill these guys at least. Like, I'm switched to the good... Okay, we get through... Whoops, we need to heal, heal, I think. Whoops. But yeah, people tomorrow just like say a ridiculous thing in the chat and then we'll end up naming the children after them. But yeah, so far for, for horror games, this is like my main thing. They're like, this priest can actually heal ones down as a game thing. But, okay. Yeah, yeah, they can revive them. And uh, I'm just really bad at dealing with that mechanic. I think they're both down right now. Thank God. Oh, yeah, that's not my. This is on nightmare mode. Yeah, whatever the mechanic is, it just steals all my ammo. Dedication. The Shrine of the Ephemeral houses three pillars who guard the mountain's pure water. One for the caskets, one for the forbidden flame, one for the water. The water passes through the shrine purified by the flame. To proceed, one must receive permission from two maidens, but the two maidens receive the blessing of the maidens on the water. Gotta have the right emote. That's true. Yeah, I have to figure out how to get, get emotes going, because that's going to be a thing we can have soon on this channel. Uh, let's see... What do we got going on here? Oh man. I'm trying to make this a quick run through of this level uh, so that I'm not up till like 4 a.m. But uh, I just can't help myself just find out every little corner here. I, I don't even really need health at the moment. And of course, if I have to fight. Am I about to hit affiliate? Um, Actually, with the error here, the, um, they're my the 50th follower and I average like f about five to seven viewers a stream depending on what game it is so yeah uh, we're actually with this stream we're officially pretty much there for affiliate so yeah super excited about that I mean obviously we have to wait for them to send the offer and I don't know thank you thank you super appreciated that's it's super awesome like uh, yeah thank you guys that's like a big cool thing to celebrate for sure like, um, uh, it's, and honestly, I thought that was going to happen tomorrow because, like, like, now she tuned in and, uh, Pit Lord and, uh, Instant Sneaker, like, some people who really have hung around a lot, but, um, majority have it. Thank you for the tangy. Um, but a majority of the people are here for, like, the strategy game, so, like, it's cool that the stuff that I was, like, started the, uh, the channel off on doing horror. Specifically, Fatal Frame is the thing. Even though it's maybe not my favorite Fatal Frame game. Like, I like this game. But, yeah. Not perfect. But yeah, this level is crazy. It's long. Like, 6 drop is crazy too, but this one is especially long. Hey! We got ammo. Nice. Alright. Please don't attack me. I'm sure we're going to crisscross this entire shrine this entire time because, like, this is the uh, Himuro Mansion of this game, and you can go back and forth all over the place. If you stream more horror, especially before, I can assure you, me and Dan will hang out here lots. Well, I mean, um, I definitely am. Uh, where the hell do I go again? Um, when Fatal Frame 4 Remake comes out, I'm going to be just streaming a bunch of that. Like, that'll be at least half the week then. Like, change the schedule entirely. Um, the, uh, I think this, I might be able to change, yeah, we can definitely do more days of, uh, of horror versus, um, strategy stuff. For sure. So 
awesome. Do we have the right film? Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to figure out the, uh, the additional, like, horror stuff. Because, like, a lot of the time, I guess, like, I definitely should, like, launch the stream and just have a full night of it way more than I had been. Like, there's a lot of times where, like, I would do another game that I wasn't super into, but I was just trying out, and then I'd switch and play this game. But, uh, yeah, we'll do more, like, straight up horror nights. Well, at least Fatal Frame. I don't know. I didn't get too far with, uh, Resident Evil. I have been chosen to be the Great Pillar. It, this is such an honor. A girl from a tiny village becoming the Great Pillar. The other maidens wept. They wouldn't stop crying, so I had to console them. I will be the Great Pillar. They gave me the name Kurosawa. From now on, I shall be called Kurosawa Ose. So, yeah. Um... Oh, I'm about to cough. I'm about to cough. We must meet before a cough. We did it. We did the stream. I, I muted myself so you didn't have to hear that. Silent Hill is a great series. I got a little bit of Silent Hill too, but that's even scarier for me. Alright. We're gonna... I think we're gonna mainline this mission because it's long as hell. Camellia Key. Search for a way to open the water gate. Yeah, Silent Hill. Hello. I guess we'll check this out, of course. Yeah, I've been... Like, be, like a friend of mine, beware of squirrels, who I used to play Final Fantasy XI with. Um, he was like, you, if you can play Fatal Frame 2, you can play Silent Hill... Too, and I'm like, I can try to play Silent Hill 2. No guarantees I can actually do well with getting, because like I just get super freaked out. Let's see here. I guess we'll check out this door. But. Yeah, if, if anything else I will say about Fail Frame 5 is that, like like for me, I think it got more people into the series, especially when they put it out on PC and Switch. Alright, we can go through here. Alright, hopefully this actually leads to where we're supposed to go. Oh, hi! <laughs> Buddy. I think we'll play this game. Hey, let's. Looks like a person. Oh, hi. Hi. Sir? Sir? I think we'll play this game on. Continue. Oof. I could have done. I could have gotten it. I could have gotten it. I think we'll continue with this on uh, Monday, maybe, actually, you know? Like, I was gonna play a different game, but you know, screw it. There's like. Only so much time for everything. I missed this entirely. Well, damn. Uh. Sir. Come on. Come on. Buddy. Ah. Damn it. I'm not good with fail frames in any of the games. I hate the box guys. All right, nice. We got him. We got him. That was a lot of. How many field frames do we have? Jesus. Ah, uh, where'd you go? Not like getting too too many upgrades. Uh, 
like with this playthrough so far because I just need to spend so many of it on a uh, on um, my film going into the mission because like running out of film in this game is just the worst feeling and then you have to kind of like restart the mission if you if you don't want to just deal with that hello all right where's this key where is that again? oh yeah I, I know what that is there is something over here, but we're gonna like I've already. I feel like I had explored most, if not all, of this level with my first playthrough, and uh, like yeah, at some point these missions just get so long. Like I wish they just had save. Like I wish it was structured like the earlier games with the save points, because then like you could be like, okay, I'm just gonna play it to the next save point. But here, like I don't think I've ever quit mid mission. I just feel wrong doing that. But like, is the the ranking people think are like what was it two best, three second, one uh, one third, fourth, and then fifth in terms of quality? Maybe I mean I guess okay. So I think there's people who debate three versus two as the best, and uh, like I think four is kind of divisive a bit. Five everybody thinks is trash, but like like you do what you, what you do what you can. Oh, I don't like having this many fucking boxes in this room for sure. Also, the stupid hand mechanic sucks. But yeah, for me so far, out of the four I've played, it's like like two, then three, then one, then five. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Whoa, that's horrible. I just opening reliquaries. I'm a bad person for burping. <laughs> Those without the power shall not be placed in reliquaries. If one who is weak is placed inside, they will not survive the pain of the black water and enter the netherworld. Those tainted souls shall not, not be given a proper death. That's mean. Yeah, the way they fucked up Miku is... It makes me kind of wish that like they had not brought her into the story at all. And also, being creepy with, uh, with Mafu is like they... The way they built up the character in the past is served poorly, for sure, by what they did with her in this game. This game also kind of like drags a bit too. Like my, I think two, one or two had the ideal length for a horror game for me. Like I don't really need a really long horror game, right? Like I think that. Um, there's something around the corner here. Like, it took me a good, I don't know, 16 hours to do the whole game if I had just gone for one ending. Come on. Come on. I have this lens, but... Wait, are we going to be attacked? Here, whoop. This part's annoying. Zero lens. Finishing the drop tonight? Um, I'm going to attempt it. Like, this is going to be... This is a... Kind of do or die. I didn't like... I was going to end the stream after the last one, but then I was like, you know, I'm kind of psyched. So I'm not going to fall asleep anyway. So we're going to... Try to get through this one. Obviously without rushing too much, but... The, like, I spent so many hours, like, wandering the, this area on my first playthrough, and now I kind of know where I'm going. Like, we'll just follow the, uh, objectives, right? Like, I'm very OCD about getting every little item, mostly, but we'll, we'll do our best here to just move on through it. Also, there are a few times something's gonna attack from here, isn't there? Oh boy. Hi. Oh, uh, we need to slow you down. I hate these guys. Although, I will say on Nightmare Mode, 
the one thing that changes for me is that, um, you know, this is not going to do jack with the 44. Like, you do have to learn enemy patterns way more in this difficulty, like pre prior games. Oh boy, you could potentially go after me soon. Yeah, we had to kill this guy with, like, the, the most basic film, um, in the, in a couple missions ago. You're gonna charge? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? This is, like, a really annoying room to fight them in. Hello. Oh. Stuck on the floor. Fortunately not, but... Come on, it's at the eagle. Uh, then she does that sometimes, which is kind of annoying. Oh dear, missed that. Do I have health? No, I'm good. Oh, she's di diving again. Fuck that one up. Man, I am fucking this one up big time. Whoa. Friend? Man? Whoa. <laughs> this is really hard, like, not only is it a tight room, but also you, like, have these boxes blocking your own movement. Hi. Hello there. Ma'am? I'm finally used to the tilting. Whoa, I think she hurts me if I get too close. Ow! Man. No, we don't need to take water just yet. Uh, there we go. Oh, yourself. Get out of here, lady. God, can we get the touch? There we go. Oh. It's on the early series that the ghost would actually grab you and squeeze the life out of you. I mean, they do grab you here and hurt you. I don't know if that counts as squeezing the life out, but there are, and you get a fatal frame at that point, but, um, but it was definitely scarier and, like, do way worse things to you in the earlier games. But again, not, not to rag too, like, I I think it's like a okay sequel to a much better original game. Where was I going again? Downstairs. That's right. Let's go. thing is that like you can you can at least the the architecture of, the, of this building is relatively cool and it does there's a room that reminds me a lot of like the shrine room in uh or the one room in the kurosawa house in fatal frame 2 and um like the, the this particular zone is like pretty cool especially as like a reference to japanese culture and such Reliquary key reminds me of the black boxes. All right, is that the main room? Yeah, it's the very front, under the Hall of Lanterns. Okay. Are we going to be attacked now? So I know there's something way over here. I'm not sure I really want to get it. No. Whoa. Can we run away? Yeah, let's just run away. Discretion is the better part of valor. If they let us, of course. Hi. 
Like, I've usually tried to fight everything, except for Fatal Frame 3. Honestly, I started running from a lot of stuff in that game because I started running low on ammo in that game too. Alright, so we need to go... We can go right and then go back upstairs. Alright, he's still chasing. Ow. Ow, fuck you. I think if I kept running I would have been okay there. At least this guy doesn't have any. This game doesn't have any wandering monks, unlike the first game. Like the random ghosts in the first game made exploration really scary for me personally. I don't know if this is even the right way, but is this the right way? No, but we're gonna make this the right way. We're just gonna straight up run across. Ow, Jesus! I don't want to deal with. Nope. We're gonna run back and then go this way. Like we could. Oh, we lost him. Nice. Or tacos, a piece of the dev night. Will's watching your stream. Gotcha. Yeah, the. Uh, excellent. I haven't had a midnight snack. I used to have tons of them, but I was enjoying some salami and crackers. Uh. Like, we were up. already had uh, some Castella earlier, like this uh, Japanese uh, treat. Oh yeah, kudos to ta tacos and pizza. Alright, insert it into the lock. Oh, a bunch of... Oh, is this where we have to like stick this into a bunch of places? No, this is an normal item. Whoa! Yeah, if they just got rid of the hands, that would make this game instantly way better. Like, gain an extra star for me for this game. Whoa. Back to back. The taboo of glancing. To glance into someone is to take on their thoughts, their secrets. The weak to do so with a touch, while the strong can do with a look, a true glance. However, howsoever it is done, the result shall be the same. This power is of the netherworld. By drenching oneself in the mountain's waters, the heart melts and joins with the water, strengthening the one who glances. Getting closer to death also brings strength, allowing one to take on more thoughts, more secrets. Strong thoughts make for stronger pillars. Thoughts are sealed with the pillar inside the reliquary. To open the box and let these thoughts overflow to invite disaster and is forbidden. Cool. Oh, that was the main thing from here. Plate key, there we go. Moon plate key. This is going to be in the cent center of the shrine, I think. Yeah, I guess the one thing I... W the one positive note I will add about this game is... Like I mentioned earlier, the architecture, like the room we're going to upstairs is uh, very evocative of Fatal Frame 2. Like you guys know, you know the room I'm talking about, Fatal Frame 2. And I tried watching a Let's Play of the remake, I did not quite enjoy that, but um, but yeah, I would totally go, actually I think Fatal Frame 2 would be the other game that I would consider playing hard mode on. But yeah, definitely at some point. New Game Plus for 1, 2, and 3, and then 4 when, uh, but especially 4 when, like, the game comes out. I'm, like, super stoked for that. Oh, hello? Hi. Can I help you? Miss? Miss? I don't know how that was a fatal frame, but I'll take it. Ma'am? Man, they did like no damage. We're really getting. Oh, hi. Hey. Oh, we're running kind of low on, uh. on better film here. Whoa. 
At least we've had lots of like shutter chances, but damn. Man, this is just like a bullet sponge, Jesus. You know what? We probably need to get this thing dead soon before I use up all of my other ammo. I don't know if the, the zero lens is strong straight up in this game. Maybe what of you guys know? Like, it says when your health is low, so I haven't used it even though I used it in the previous games, but I've been just using the blue lens and the, uh, the slow lens mostly. Haven't leveled up the zero lens all the way either, that's the thing. Like, maybe I'm playing the game wrong, maybe I should have been using the zero lens all this time. But it says your health has to be low, and my health is never low, because I don't want to be one shot. Alright. Sometimes, one thing you one thing you surely disliked about this game is that we had three pairs of basically the same ghosts who died in a similar manner. It feels, just feels so uninspired. Um, I took, let's say, uh, like, probably one of the pairs is like Haruhi, Haruka and Fuyuhi, and then, um, oh yeah, there was two other, yeah, I do remember other pairs of girls, um, and, yeah, they, they definitely did not, they were not super, uh, creative with a lot of that, for sure. Nope, nothing here. I, I dislike the mission structure is probably one of my worst complaints. I mean, aside from like the the creepy leering male gaze aspects of like the like one to talk using this outfit, but um, although this isn't as bad as like the swimsuit ones, of course. But uh, like just the missions can be so long. And if, hi, you know we're running from you too. This is the day for running from enemies, cause oh, well I guess we're not running from you. Ow, Jesus. Maybe we can equip better film. All, one thing I didn't like about 3 was that you got like some of the upgrades super late in that game. Like 2 felt to me like the, the everything about 2 felt just perfect. Hello? Hello? Ugh. How did that? How is that not a a fatal frame? Jesus! Did we go for the, the good film. I guess we go for the good film. Boom. We're in a corner here, of course. Challenge. Can we move out of here? I think he's stuck in a wall. Also, we should heal. I think he's like stuck inside a wall being slowed, so he's taking his time to come out. Hi. Wow, he is taking many hits. Wow, did not realize he was going down here. Oh, right, that's right, we have to go through... Yeah, I remember what happens at near the end of this level, so... Yeah, we have a, a lot of things that happen, but I really wish that, you know, Either levels would be shorter, or they would like 30 minutes feels right to me between places where you have natural save points. But at least like I'm not just going to every single corner of the of the place this time. Like, wait, 
moon and another with cherry blossoms. What key do we get already? Wait. That's not the one. Astyla is... Wait. Iris... Camellia... Reliquary key? Cherry plate key, moon key. Wait a minute. Cherry plate, moon key. Moon and the other with cherry blossoms. I'll need. I thought we have moon and cherry blossoms. Is that what we have? Cherry plate. Oh, moon plate key. Cherry. Yeah. What the hell? Is this? What am I missing here? And plus, like we'd be just following what, like what, what the game has told us to do. Or does the map reveal anything else? Like I could just explore every corner. But yeah, this is why I used a guide to get through the game the first time. Yeah, we we have the keys. I feel like, unless I'm terribly wrong about this. Super annoying. Huh. I don't suppose anybody here knows what I'm missing. Two locks, grieving the moon, and the cherry blossoms. Um, well, wait a minute. So if I'm looking at these, cherry plate key, moon plate key. I think this is the, the interest of saving time. I think it is time for Google. Uh, is this drop 12, I think? Let's see here. Wait, that's not. Apologize for the uh, the holdup, but um. Yeah, this is a uh... let's see okay I think we're on I got this is one thing I know that really annoyed me about this game that like it's so hard to figure out where the hell to um, to go a lot of the time Plate key, lead plate key, and the cherry plate key. Let's see here. Items, records. Camellia, where's the way? Camellia plate key, lily plate key, cherry plate key. Reliquary key. We have the reliquary key. Okay. Now. What's the next part? What's going on? Nice, nice pineapple pizza. I haven't really had that much. Glad to hear that. Um, basically, I feel like we had all the items for this part, and, and we're not going. Uh, we're missing something, I think. Taboo of clans that made. Um. 
Let's see. Where? The Hall of Lanterns. Taboo of Lansing, Sacred Moon Plank Key. Room on Water. Just trying to figure out where the hell we're supposed to go now. Taboo glancing the sacred water, moon plate key. I think we got that. Yeah, yeah. The way, the way of living south room. Way of living south. Central staircase. Way of living south, okay. Way of living south. Ascend the stairs on the right, which leads to the doors that requires the keys we picked up. Way of the departed? Way beneath the no, no, wait. Hall of Lanterns? Is that where we're going? Hall of Lanterns? No, no, wait. No, that's not... I'm not... Room on water. Where is the room on water? What the hell? I'm pretty sure we have everything we're supposed to have. Unless we missed, like... Something else. Beneath the Shrine Wharf... Huh. It doesn't really tell me what I need in this room either. Two locks, one with an engraving of the moon and the other with cherry blossoms. I'll need both keys to open this door. So, do I not have these two keys? Stylized moon, stylized cherry blossom. I mean, we could explore more of this damn... Also, we could level up. Yeah, we're maxed out on this character. Um, but this is kind of worrisome if we're stuck. We could. I don't think we need to go to any of these places. We could try the garden hallway. See if we do anything with that. Maybe that triggers something. Where is the garden hallway? Probably need to go up. Done it. Whoops. That's not the way. Yeah, we haven't gone the goal, the garden hallway yet, so I guess we could go there. Like, I tried walking up to the boat, but it didn't let us. Or maybe the game's bugged. That is also possible. Never discount that possibility. Alright, well we haven't gone through here yet, so maybe we need to trigger something in here to be able to use the keys. Check. Yeah, that's the room we're going into. But I really feel like we're... 
Anything here? Search for a way to open the water gate. We were... Oh, sorry, just a second. Ugh. Have to plug in this damn tablet real quick so that I can still see chat. Whoa. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Also kind of nice to be playing a controller game for once since uh, we can uh, I can sit back a bit more. And yeah, saw the tablet for a second, saw the uh, behind the scenes. Is that plugged in all the way? There we go. Cool. All right. But yeah, I really don't remember. Yeah, we've already run all the way across here now. Like, we could check additional rooms. There's one other area that we haven't really gone to, which is, uh, not that way. That I can think of. Well, I mean, there's this room back here, the inner shrine. Do they want us to go to the inner shrine at all? Yeah, we have the moon plate key. Yeah, let's double check here. Moon plate key. All right. And then we have the taboo of glancing note. I think we had that one as well. Um, hmm. Camellia plate key, lily plate key. Yeah, we have the Camellia plate key, lily plate key, cherry plate key, moon plate key. So we have all the keys as far as I can tell. Garden hallway, wait. Wait a minute. Room with casket. Garden hallway east. The opening reliquaries note on the floor. Garden hallway east. We did unlock that. Jesus. This game! Even when I think I know everywhere to go in the level, it still, like, battles me. And still says, no, you can't do this. Like, I, I have, like, an idea of where the hell I'm supposed... Maybe I was supposed to kill every monster? Who knows? Are you not missing a few key items? Ah, uh, I have the... So I have the keys that it told me to get. It says, like, the moon key and the cherry key. I have those. I have, like, multiple other keys, too. The gate over there open. Like, this is the place we're supposed to go, and, uh... Two locks, one with an engraving of the moon, and the other one with cherry blossoms. Is there... Yeah, so my inventory... I have the cherry plate key and the moon plate key. Reliquary key... Camellia plate key, Iris plate key, Lily plate key... Like, I have all these extra keys that, um, that the game asked me to get, but I guess the only thing we can really do is just kind of retrace our steps and try and maybe check the other areas that we have not really... 
checked out yet. But yeah, there's some things about like figuring out where to go in this game just drive me up the wall. Of course, like I don't really want to fight extra ghosts, so. I'm gonna call night. Thanks for tonight's stream. It's not my fault, so I'll get a heads up whenever you come on. Have a great, great rest of the stream tonight. Hey, yeah, Animal Crossing Dan. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate that, that, that too. And uh, always be great to have you uh, come on. Definitely think that w uh, I can definitely get some more Fatal Frame streams going in the future and um, should be able to get maybe some Heroes of Might and Magic for what's worth. The stream has gone way too long without tanging, so here. I appreciate the tangy. Tangy is a, seems like a good, e good emote. And of course, we're going to get emotes here as well. Or like uh, our own original ones at some point as well. Oh. Alright, maybe we do have to go... I mean, this... I feel like this may be a side area, but... We're going to try to go down this path as well anyway. And then also aside from that, we haven't gone been the way of the departed over here, I don't think. Yeah, so let's just go to the there's like one or two like key locations that um that I think that we could check. But if like we truly run out of locations then I think that I'm going to have to like there's an enemy in here I'm pretty sure by the way as long as you stream up from any of the horror games I'll find your way but excellent yeah I'll probably wait this is probably important isn't this yeah I'll definitely try to increase that and there's other people that I'm that I know that are into, into that as well a box up here plate key cherry what the fuck don't I have a cherry plate key all right through training, tr shrine mains approach death. The closer they get, the more they lose themselves, but the main must keep going strong. But by, by getting closer to death, it is possible to know everything. This is how we are able to glance people's thoughts. We all leave behind powerful echoes of ourselves, and as long as these echoes remain, a soul cannot move on. A shrine maiden must keep help the soul pass to the netherworld. They must take on those final thoughts, resonate with them, and continue to embrace them. This is the shrine maiden's true role. Cool. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I think I've... Please don't attack me. I feel like I'm pretty sure we do get attacked at some point here. But, um... Aside from Fatal Frame games, there's like... Like, not... I mean, I've tried... Like, I kind of like Resident Evil, but... Um... Oh, no. Hi. Wait a minute. Can we run from you? I think we could try to run from her. That'd be great. Why are we not just running, running? There we go. She's still chasing. Oh, damn. Probably this spot is worse for fighting her than before. Here we go. She got far away, but... Man, I, I wish that the game wouldn't, like, kind of cordon on you off to fight every enemy so many many times. Alright, we're gonna... It's gonna suck fighting her in here, so we're gonna go back into the watery area. I mean, no matter where we fight this thing, it's gonna suck. But, you know, we'll do our best. I think we're gonna try to like build up the levels with the lower level film and then swap the nice ones. Oh, except for we just got a, a show chance with that one. I 
Maybe we can go to the level 7. But yeah, for anybody else tuning in, interested here, hear like what you think of this game or uh, any other Fatal Frame games or slash horror games. Hello? I feel like she's gonna charge very soon. There we go. Booyah. Of course, we have some, like, several fucking, uh... Uh-oh, that's not good. We've got, like, several annoying, like, enemies to still, still have to fight, of course, in this level. But yeah, definitely picking up my previous skills with this game. Almost there. Yeah, we got him. Well, we've now reached, I think, the point of like how long it took me to beat the game the initial time, but even though I didn't get too lost. Also, probably should make sure we have the right film. Oh, yep, okay, good. That's right, there's shrine maidens in that place, and there's so many things. Oof. Alright, now, there was definitely... So maybe it's because I've already beaten the game that it said that I had the thing in my inventory, but I guess I didn't actually have it from this through but luckily I had it in like a feeling about that room so yay made it in staring at water but yeah if we truly run out of film again that's gonna be a problem all right please let us run for real through here no wait over here, is there? So, no? Okay. Oh, I've never gone this way, though. Oh! This is, like, where I took a picture from Drop 6, previously one of the longest missions I've done. Nothing over there? Okay. Hopefully the guy that we ran away from, uh, is, um, not back. Let's see, is this the... Yeah, this is the path. Okay. We can do this now. Of course, the shrine... Yeah, the shrine in the water is... Kind of... Not that quick of a thing. By the way, now, she if you're still... Hanging out, you're a... Uh, trooper dude. The mountains cry. Maidens in the black water in reliquaries as pillars. The maidens sleep as pillars, neither alive nor dead, reliving the pain of others in a cycle. Hey, good to know you're alive. Unending. The stronger the pillar, the greater the pain the maintained you. Must be a little later in the morning for you at this point. When the pain is too much, the box opens and the pillar melts into the black water. This weakens the ward against the shadow spring, and so the mountain cries out in pain. A cry of the mountain, as of the mountain's pain, a sign of calamities to come. Okay. Okay. I prefer, like, better, like, you know, film film, not like that kind of film, but... Oh, hi! Damn you. Really? We couldn't just, like, talk about this with your friends, sir? Alright, I think that we are gonna do a thing where we swap to higher film as we get more orbs. Shit. 
I could use an item here. Jam. some damage. something. Yeah, he totally reset there. That's annoying. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Really? He's almost dead, though. We can get this guy. Thank God. Oh. Yeah, our ammo is going to be an issue. Huh. Oh. The gate's now open. Now we just have to get the hell out of here. Well, that's not true. We have actually quite a bit more to go. Once the black water flowed forth, the three strong pillars threw themselves in, and the Shadow Spring hat was sated. The three pillars eventually succumbed to the darkness. They live on as statues in the shrine of the ephemeral. The three pillars collapsed, and five more took their place. All of Mount Hikami became a barrier, one the black water could not overcome. So long as Mount Hikami stands, the black water shall never again overflow. <laughs> Cutting it close on my absolute <laughs> end time cutoff. But I bet you they're not going to let me... Because I know what I have to do once I get to the Shrine of the Water and it's... Oh, fucking A, really? See this enemy here, I feel. Like. Oh, fuck you, really? Seriously? That was such a waste. Like, I used up so much shit and uh, almost got like a giant hit and then damn him. Or whatever it is.
Yeah, we're actually getting to that part of the game where we're running low on ammo, for sure. Are right, we need to use a really good... Ow. Fuck you. Kinda wasted that. Can you dig it? Super far away. Like, we have a fully powered up camera. But, like... Get the shutter chance here. I think the strategy is good for conserving film. Hello? Hi. God. Wait. Camera's reacting to something. Alright. Oof. Alright. The gate is going to open, and then we can get to the shrine in the water. Yay. Gate is open. Proceed. Soka is on the other side. Shrine on the water. Explore the shrine on the water. Of course, they do give you more film and stuff here. But the problem is, is that enough to counteract the fact that there's like a whole bunch of a level left? Which, at least it's not raining yet here, because I feel like it rains later on. And I used to think of this... I mean, this is a relatively quick part of the level, but... It'd be great if we could run past things, but I highly doubt that works. And I've also played through this part of the game, like this level, a number of times, I want to say, so... I kind of am familiar with the layout and everything. Like, I'm not even checking my map. Wait. What do we got here? Or if we get attacked on the way back, I guess that would be preferable, but... Actually, they're giving me a lot of ammo now, so... We might be in okay shape if we just get to fight the bosses only. Although they are kind of rough, now that I recall. Getting there though. So far, so good. Actually, alright, did you ever play this game on a... Uh... Or, well, any of the games on higher difficulty, by any chance? Because, like, I don't know. I'm not a really hard mode gamer, although I guess Knights of Honor, a uh, strategy game I've been playing recently, uh, I have played that on hard a bit, but usually I play, like, on normal and leave it there. Wait, did I miss something? No, I went here. Okay, good.
There we go. Alright, there's definitely going to be something that happens here. What? No? Okay. Well, thank God for that. Maybe it happens later. Wow. Man, I thought this whole shrine in the water would be a battle because I know that there's a later level where it is a battle, but luckily, at least so far, we don't have stuff going on. However, it doesn't mean that it can't be dangerous later on. But yeah, Lake at the top of a mountain. It doesn't make them. I feel like it's. Gravity would make it hard for that to work, but. What do I know? You know, I'm gonna heal just in case. But yeah, we've officially upgraded the main stats of Yudi's camera, so I guess we could work on the zero lens next. Or continue working on the fatal lens, or whatever the, whatever the hell that is. Oh boy. Yep. Wait a minute. Yeah, so I know how to conserve my... Uh, ammo a little bit better now um, by building up the uh, things with l lighter kinds and then using the big one. Did she though? So now she has any of the uh, characters we found in the boxes so far been dead? Yeah. She did change, save us earlier. Yeah, she, she like got pulled into the water and uh, and then they put her in a box and then they drain, I guess drain her life force or whatever since then, but they get put in kind of a coma with pain and suffering and don't actually die or anything. Well, not for a long time anyway. However, bum bum bum. <laughs> This is not the, the boss fight that I can uh, remember. Yeah, so she's... We'll see what happens. I was just using the best film, and I'm not sure how much this counts. Hi. Hello. I missed my fail frame. Oh well. She plays a lot like the earlier enemy we had to deal with. Oh, I think we have to kill these orbs here. In order to really hit her, maybe. Ah, I keep on doing it early. Now we're gonna use type 61 for now. Hello? Ah, 
Oh, that's something I didn't even have film ready to go. Damn. Whoops. Man, I am not good with this. Alright, she's slow now, I think. Or maybe it does not work on her. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, we don't we keep on avoiding being hit, but uh kind of missing our chances to hit her. Is there a fatal frame she has? No, I don't think she's got a fatal frame. Or if she does, I'm just like super specific timing that you have to do. Ha 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 ha. However, it's relatively easy to dodge her her dives, at least. Alright, slow her now. Whoops. Couldn't quite get a hit there. Where'd you go now? Hi. Hi. Hello. So the unfortunate thing about dodging this game is you can kind of just mash the button and you'll be kind of okay. Hello? What is her health at, even? Oh dear, oh dear, dear. Unfortunately, whoops, fuck. That's like one orb we got going on around here, and there's a pillar in the way. Hi. What? Like half health? That's not good for us. Come on, you're behind a fucking pillar when I can finally hit you? There we go. Ah, uh, that didn't really do very much. That should be alright. I don't think she really does very much when she's in this mode. Or we can't really hurt her in this mode. Oh, come on. I think we have to get a, a shutter chance to, uh... Get her back to normal. Oh, come on, really? Come on. 
Alright, we use our big gun on her there. Alright. Oh, we actually have a few of that ammo. Ow! This is irritating, but at least I know it's one fight. One fight! Alright. Oh. Come on. Ow. There's orbs all around us now. Heals, that's gonna be really annoying. Oh shit. That was a that was a fatal frame right there, but we didn't get it, unfortunately. or something like that. What? I missed. Fuck. I mean, I need to just get her slowed if I can. I don't think it works, though. I don't think about it. Oh. Oh no, this is our only foam left. That's really bad. At least we can just kind of do it, spend it willy nilly now. Please don't heal. Alright, she didn't heal. At least I don't think she did very much. Alright, we're just gonna spam our low level shit now. I don't think that she. Uh, Alright, that's a pit of friend. Please let us not have to fight through the end of this mission. Wow. Wow, everybody. Oh, oh wait. There we go. Probably would have been her terrible if I did not get that, because I forgot. I think you might be able to not save her. Her own drama. Oof. I 
見つけることができた取り戻すことができた磯子さんあ、uh, and of course this is not the end of the mission、uh, at least they gave us good ammo for that fight of course like it would have been totally impossible if not for that can we go this way yeah definitely gonna have a battle happening I think but that should have been a checkpoint at least so there's something but yeah there's more please let there not be anything on the way back but I highly doubt it oh now it's raining of course that's never good in this game that horn sound in the background is never a good sign but we are officially out of ammo although we are with the character that I think has better tools than then so but yeah, I don't I'm dead sure we just need to get to the boat like like almost certain especially if we get attacked on the way man marathon level even on a、uh, normal this level was long I think I mean all the levels mostly start getting really long near the end wait is this the way wait no it's the boats over here isn't it yeah there we go proceed oh hot damn Wow, that was a hell of a level, folks. Flashbacks. It's more Kizukano Katayona. She's an Akotoga. Tai Setsna Kikakini Narakotoga and this name Ikunoka No Kurunoka Mosibaraka. ここにいてもいいですか今この温かさがあってよかったあったかいWe did it. Yuri boarded the boat of passage and was taken to the shrine on the water, the final destination for shrine maidens set to become pillars. Yuri found Hisoko inside the shrine and took her safely back to the antique shop. The bond between the two of them grew even stronger. Twelfth drop. Rank B. Holy crap, guys. We did it. Somehow. An hour 1425. Like, we barely had enough ammo to make it through all of it, but we did. And we fully have upgraded the base stats on her camera, so just a cut, well, a bunch more for Ren and then her, probably her zoo lens in the future, but, but holy crap.